you know, people come to the Dharma and they want a real quick fix. And they think that when they enter the Dharma, they get the teachings and they apply it, they want instant results. You know what? Doesn't make sense to me. Because it took you this many years to habituate into who you are and what you are and how you think and, and all the problems you created for yourself. So if it took you this many years to create this problem or problems or brought you to your habituations, don't you think it's, it's going to take a few years for you to dehabituate yourself into something new, something better, something that doesn't create a lot of problems for yourself? Well, when you get the Dharma teachings, it is sacred, it is holy, it is wonderful. But you know, you don't become enlightened overnight, and things don't change overnight, and things don't transform overnight, but they will start transforming. You know, the minute you get in that car, you don't learn how to drive immediately. The minute you get in that airplane, you don't become an instant pilot. The minute you get into the kitchen, you don't become the greatest cook in the world. It's through trial and tribulation and hard work and study and practice and a lot of time, sweat and tears that you become a great pilot, driver, a great cook. So for mundane things such as that, if you think you need time, don't you think you need a lot more time for Dharma? Well, you do. So when you get to the Dharma, you don't give yourself one year, you don't give yourself two years, you don't give yourself three years. If you've been the way you are, I'm going to give you a little secret, no, I wouldn't say secret, but a, kind of my own little secret recipe, all right? Which is if you've been habituating yourself for 10 years, take five years to transform yourself. If you've been habituating yourself for 20 years, let's say take 10 years to habituate yourself, take half. And that's giving yourself an easy, lazy, slow approach. But if you want results and you want suffering to stop quickly, then if you've been habituating yourself for 10 years, you can transform yourself maybe in two, three. Those are just little guesstimations of time. Now, when you have received the Dharma, you don't listen and go, wow, that's great, that's good, that's, that's, that's fabulous. Um, what you need to do is you need to apply it. You need to put it into your life. You need to insert it into your life. And when you insert it into your life, you'll see changes. And when you see changes, the changes are smaller than the habituations. But the habituations are much more bigger than the change. You shouldn't be discouraged. Because if you do it one day, two day, three day, four day, you will change. You will transform. Now, you will change. But don't be disheartened. Your friends can't make you change. Your teacher can't make you change. Your parents and your siblings and your spouse and your partner can't make you change, but you can change. If you change, everything around you will change. Your relationship becomes better. Your feelings become better. You become happier. You become lighter. You become much, much, much more receptive to further change. You see, because when you change, you get some result. You feel good. You feel excited. You feel totally 100% encouraged. But that encouragement can't come from friends. You can't depend on others to babysit you, to watch you, to walk you through, to push you, to engage you all the time. Why? Because it can become borderline between support and actually draining someone. So you don't want to do that. The change has to come from you. You have to learn the Dharma and you have to apply it every day. Learning the Dharma and applying it is a secret. Not learning and not applying. Learning and not applying and spouting it out eloquently to others and to yourself is not going to create any change. It's good, but it won't create change. So you need to actually learn it, apply it under all the most difficult situations under all duress situations, and then you'll see your mind change. You know, your mind didn't become the way it became overnight. It came over years and years and months and days of habituation, layers of habituation, and it became so-called solidified. So therefore, when you apply the Dharma, one day at a time, one month at a time, one year at a time, you will see a change, you will see a transform. Dharma is not learning and listening and understanding. Dharma is when you get results. You're calmer, you're happier, 
You can put up with more difficult situations. You can tolerate more difficult situations. You can accept more difficult situations. And you can accept it for others, for a higher purpose. That is the Dharma. So Dharma practice is when you transform and you change. What is change? Change is when you're always depressed and you stop your depression. You know why you stop your depression? Because your depression burdens everybody around you, it burdens you, and it burdens your future. How do you stop depression? By stop focusing on yourself, stop thinking about the past, stop thinking about your failures, and work super hard to win and gain self-esteem. What is change? To hold on to the past and continuously be angry, continuously be unhappy, continuously relive, replay, remix your past. And it affects your future because you relate to everyone around you according to your experiences of the past. You gotta stop that. Because today can be tomorrow's past. This week can be next week's past. So if you start a new train of thought, a new type of thinking, positive, beneficial, kind, then you create a new past to help your new future. It's all in your hands. So therefore, change is when you become more positive, more beneficial, more better. That is change. That is Dharma. And Dharma can only be called Dharma when you have transformation in your mind. So learn the Dharma, apply it, and under all circumstances, under all duress situations, challenge your mind. Challenge the negative into positive and stop saying it's difficult. Stop saying it's hard. Stop saying that you can't do it. You can do it. You will do it. And you will succeed. I can do it. I will change. I will succeed. I will make no one around me suffer. I will make no one around me unhappy. I will make no one around me in fear of me. I will be different. I will transform. And I will be a light. I will change. So when you receive the Dharma, apply it. Remember, your teacher, your Yidam, the Dharma protectors, all the saints cannot change your mind, but you can. And the key is through learning Dharma, applying the Dharma, and 100% targeting your mind with the Dharma. You should be a murderer of your ego, a assassin of the ego, the ego that brings you unhappiness, all right? Murder and assassin in this case means destroying your selfish, egotistical mind. That is the purpose of Dharma. And along with that, do Dharma practice. Along with that, do the guru yogas of your teacher, such as Manjushri Guru Yoga, such as Lama Tsongkhapa Guru Yoga, such as Guru, guru Ramji Guru Yoga, whatever Guru Yoga you prefer. You do that every day as a support, as a practice to collect merits. You do that, and you will see change. Good luck.